Did you know that this guy is actually Vin Diesel? I Superman. Yeah, neither did we. From characters whose famous voice actors you never could have guessed, to the celebs you never imagined would voice animated characters at all, we've got all the most surprising celeb and animated characters pairings. Just wait till you hear about the Steve Urkel and Sonic the Hedgehog connection. Number one, Flea played a character you'd never expect. Yes, we're talking about this Flea, the Red Hot Chili Peppers bassist. The character we're referring to is none other than Donnie from the Wild Thornberries. If you're thinking, hey, isn't Donnie the one who famously didn't talk? Your memory's right. That's Flea making these incredible Donnie noises. <laughs> and yes, that's Tim Curry as Nigel. And I intend to witness it firsthand. But we're not surprised to hear his iconic voice everywhere. Number two, Nickelodeon roped in another surprising voice actor for another one of its most beloved shows. Did you know that Scarlett Johansson acted opposite these guys? Yep, Johansson played Princess Mindy in the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Listen, you guys, the road to Shell City is really dangerous. No wonder Patrick was such a big fan of hers. He's pretty, SpongeBob. Speaking of fans, if you're a fan of learning more about your favorite animated content, then you should hit that like button and subscribe to The Things Animated for plenty more videos like this one. And now for another Nickelodeon character whose voice actor you could never guess in a million years. Number three. You surely remember Reptar the T-Rex in Rugrats. And you also likely remember Buster Rhymes. Yeah, this Buster Rhymes. Well, have you seen Reptar and Buster Rhymes in the same room together? That's because they're the same person. Okay, that's not really why, but Buster Rhymes did in fact provide the voice for Reptar in both the Rugrats series and the subsequent 1998 film, The Rugrats Movie. <laughs> Number four. After the Rugrats movie, there was Rugrats Go Wild. In this film, Rugrats Spike the Dog Can Speak, since the Thornberries are there, and he's voiced by Bruce Willis. Ah, no problem, I'm done. I was just marking. Yep, now that we think of it, that could really only be him. Number five. Fergie may be better known for her Fergalicious days, but she actually played a role back in the 80s that you almost certainly know, even if you didn't know it was her. Fergie was the voice of Sally Brown. How can he support a wife? He sleeps all the time. AKA Charlie Brown's little sister in some of the famous Peanuts TV specials. While more than 20 actors have played Sally in the many different iterations of Peanuts stories, Fergie lent her voice to the beloved character for a few specials you may have seen. It's Flash Beagle, Snoopy's Getting Married, and a season of the Charlie Brown and Snoopy show in 1984. Number six, like Fergie, Chloe started out as a child actor and has since had a long and varied career. But did you know she provided her voice for animated characters on a whopping 12 different occasions? Among the TV, film, and video game characters are Belka in Space Dogs, Emily Caldwin in Dishonored, the titular princess in the tale of Princess Kaguya, and last but certainly not least, Wednesday Addams in the 2019 The Addams Family. A family vacation. Just give me the trophy already. Number seven. As one of the highest grossing actors in the world, Vin Diesel is a certified Hollywood giant. He also happens to be the Iron Giant. Diesel played the titular role in the classic 1999 animated film, The Iron Giant. Rock. <laughs> Good. Number eight. The same year Vin Diesel was bringing the Iron Giant to life, a TV series called Sonic Underground premiered. It starred Jaleel White as Sonic the Hedgehog. You may know Jaleel White as the iconic character Steve Urkel in the sitcom Family Matters. To answer Steve Urkel's classic catchphrase, Did I do that? Yes, you did, in fact, voice Sonic the Hedgehog multiple different times, including in Sonic the Hedgehog from 1993 to 1994. Oh, this dream is way past cool. Number nine. In another tale of 90s sitcom star turned animated icon, we have Lori Metcalf. Lori Metcalf famously played Jackie in the hit sitcom Roseanne, as well as appearing in countless movies, series, and plays from Hacks to Ladybird. But did you know that she also played Andy's mom in the Toy Story franchise? 
right here in the van. Well, you're just not looking hard enough. Yep, all this time. One of the most famous Pixar parents was voiced by this Oscar nominee, Emmy winner, and two-time Tony winner. You may be surprised to find out that Metcalf isn't the only two-time Tony winner to voice a famous Disney character we all grew up with. Number 10. Matthew Broderick, a.k.a. Ferris Bueller himself, also fits that bill. Give me one good reason, why not? For a guy who's famous for days off, he must not get many with a packed schedule like this. As for his voice acting credits, Matthew Broderick is the voice behind one of the most well-known animated characters of all time. He played Simba in The Lion King. Timon, this is Nala. She's my best friend. When Simba grows up into the adult version, that's Matthew Broderick. So who's the young version? Well, that's someone you're familiar with too. Number 11. Back in the 90s, Jonathan Taylor Thomas was a total teen heartthrob, who's best known for his role as Randy Taylor in the sitcom Home Improvement. In 1994, right in the middle of his time on Home Improvement, he provided the voice for young Simba in The Lion King. Ew, gross. Slimy, it's satisfying. Number 12. Zendaya also started out as a young Disney star and is now one of the biggest celebs in the world. If you don't remember the specifics of any of Zendaya's voice acting roles, you've probably still heard the Zendaya is Michi song. This viral video pokes fun at the ad campaign for the 2018 movie Smallfoot, where Zendaya voiced a yeti named Michi. And if one stone is wrong, then others could be as well. But this wasn't her first voice acting gig. She also voiced Fern in Pixie Hollow Games, a horse named Lollipop in Super Buddies, and a duck named Chi in Duck Duck Goose. Number 13. Hugh Jackman is another serious actor who surprisingly provided the voice for a bird. Among his voice acting roles, Jackman played Memphis in Happy Feet. I think I feel a move in there. Isn't there something we can do? In a less than surprising cast decision, he also voiced Wolverine in X-Men, the official game, and X-Men Origins Wolverine. Number 14. Nicolas Cage has also lent his voice to the Marvel Universe. He voiced noir Spider-Man in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. I'm talking hard, boys. Real biscuit boxers. Can you fight them all off at once? He's actually played quite a few other voice acting roles, such as Grug in The Croods and an ant named Zock in Ant Bully. Number 15. The year before Oscar winner Nicolas Cage took on the role of an ant, Emmy winner Ewan McGregor took on the role of a pigeon. He played the titular homecoming pigeon in Valiant. It's not the size of your wingspan, no! It's the size of your spirit! He's also voiced Rodney Cooperbottom in Robots, Chris in Jackbots on Whitehall, and Lumiere in the live-action Beauty and the Beast. Number 16. Unlike McGregor, Oprah Winfrey has yet to play a bird, a robot, or a talking candle. Candelabra, please. Enormous difference. But we really hope this will change as her career progresses. Thus far, though, the media mogul has played an animated character in a movie we all know and love. Oprah voiced Adora, Tiana's mother, and the princess and the frog. They were married and lived happily ever after. <laughs> Number 17. From one superstar to another, Miley Cyrus has also shared her famous voice with an animated character. In her case, it was Penny, the human friend of a super dog in the 2008 animated film Bolt. You got him, Bolt. No one's gonna hurt me. And while featuring a legendary singer slash actor like Miley is a dream for any animated flick, Cyrus wasn't the only one in Bolt's case. Number 18. Penny's dog pal Bolt was voiced by Grease star John Travolta. The pair even teamed up for the film song, I Thought I Lost You. Now we just need to get these two in a musical together. Number 19. Speaking of musicals, there's someone surprising lurking in the cast of Pocahontas. Did you know that John Smith was voiced by Mel Gibson? And yes, he even provided the singing voice, which Gibson called the most difficult part of the role. No, I'm not letting you leave. Number 20. From Braveheart playing a singing soldier to Luke Skywalker playing the Joker? <laughs> Plenty of actors have donned the green hair and clown face paint to make the Joker character their own, but you may not have known that Mark Hamill has taken on this role too, just in a bit of a different way. He provided the voice of the iconic character in Batman the Animated Series. It's true, Batsy. I know everything. Number 21. From Ugly Betty to Superstore, and even a trip down memory lane with the sisterhood of the traveling pants, but where have we heard her? As Astrid in the How to Train Your Dragon movies, of course. I am not listening to anything you have to say! Then I won't speak. 
Number 22. And now, from a story about dragons to a tale of sharks, Angelina Jolie usually takes on some pretty serious roles, but she doesn't seem to shy away from providing the voice for a talking animal when the opportunity arises. She played a lionfish named Lola in Shark Tale in 2004. Five grand on lucky day, I think he can afford mm -hmm. anything mm -hmm. he wants. As well as Master Tigress in Kung Fu Panda in 2008. That was pretty hardcore. Can you believe the characters these celebrities voiced? What other voice acting roles from celebs have totally surprised you? Tell us about them in the comments. And for more videos like this one, don't forget to like and subscribe to The Things Animated.